Why hello there, and welcome back to B-Roll, V-Roll. Well today, I'm not able to hear anything because I've got my volume turned up too high. Well today, we are in ROM. And we are utilizing a melee. Oh, hello. We're utilizing a melee setup. Now, I don't know if we can do anything about these things with melee. Because, quite frankly, Oh, we can hit them. So, we've got the Void Armor. Crunch. We've got the Void Armor. The Band of Strength for the increased melee damage stack. Leto's Amulet for the... Uh, the Encumbrance. Nice start. We're currently using the Petrified Maul for the uh, the Stagger chance. Keep it in mind that it's not particularly well upgraded. Oh, another one. Great. Oh, there's loads of you. What's with all the... Ow. Uh, there we go. Oh, yes. Now, something I'm also trying today for the first time. You know how I've been moaning that I keep accidentally pressing the buttons on the wrong, on the side of the mouse? And therefore, I created a synapse profile to, uh, to deal with that. I realised... Smash. Um, I realised that switching synapse profiles actually is kind of laggy. And uh, it was really messing up. Ow. What the? Don't shoot the head. Oh, take that. And that. I uh, I actually really need this Luminite. Um, yeah, so the Synapse profiles were, were really causing me problems. Oh, balls. So what I've done, because I had forgotten, is that the Naga Trinity mouse that I've got has removable side panels with three different configurations on. And I'd utterly forgotten about it because the one that I had before was just a Razor Naga and it didn't have that capability. So I've switched out the side, which it turns out is not a complicated process at all because it's just magnetic. So I've swapped it out and, uh... oh, hi friend. And now I've got a buttonless, well it's not buttonless, there's two buttons on the side, rather than the 12 that I use for, well, MMOs basically, and a bit of Diablo 3. I also realised that the, the third side, that makes the Trinity, is the uh, the one with six buttons on, the Hex 
version. Um, which I could use with Diablo instead. So I can just keep them next to the computer and switch between them really, really easily whenever I want. And as I said, but kind of dumb because I didn't think of it before. I don't like these skull things. I mean, sure, I can one-shot them. Keep it in mind that this is on normal difficulty. Oh, shit. Indeed. Oh! Oh, shit, indeed. There's a, uh, an edge of a map there. Well, that's great. Good to know. Literally didn't expect that. Mind you, there's some uh, hardened iron up there that we didn't grab before. And some over here, in fact. It's not actually um, hardened iron that is our issue now. Our biggest worry and issue with upgrading is the uh, luminite crystals. They are the uh, the thing that are holding us back the most. Why can you hit me from there? I'm from there. Right. You're going to be able to hit me through the wall. Stagger! You're stuck in the floor. I, um, read on the forums a complaint about uh, people having enemies stuck in the floor. But we've really not seen much of it in a main playthrough or any of this B-roll stuff. Yeah. Right, let's just get through here. Get a lot. You get a lot of HP back from those melee swings. So yeah, melee is is totally viable on these uh, Oh, there's a load of enemies behind me. I thought I got my back to a wall. That's where I fell off previously. Right, let's go down this side instead. Not that we can go very far down that side. Oh! We were so close as well. So close to the end of the dungeon. Right. Which 
encounter is this. I can't even remember which dungeon this is. Stalker's Den. Is this the one with the dogs? It is the one with the dogs. Quiet down. You wake the pack. <laughs> I won't be blamed for what happens if you do. We don't no, actually have to kill him. Here. Then again. Sit, sit, but they are my family. So this is the control rod that he's got in his head. <laughs> Don't worry, it tastes better than it smells. Buy a couple of those. Thanks for the conversation. Oh, and quiet now. I don't actually know what wakes the pack. It might just be shooting it or, you know, getting up really, really close to the dogs. Yeah, we've got the, the stuff from it. So we can actually leave. Oh, okay. We, we miss out on the XP. Which is a shame, but it, it's it's not a huge deal. Uh, 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 inventory materials. Ten luminite crystals. I can't remember how many I need. Yeah, they, they are more rare than I expect them to be. Considering how many elites you seem to run into. The fact that not all of them drop. Luminite. Well, it's, it's by design, clearly. And it makes sense. All right, where does this... Buzz off. Stagger! Delicious. I love the falling over animation. It's great. Sometimes no, not on this one. Sometimes there's an extra hidden bit that allows you to go upstairs for a chest, but it's not on this one. Right, we've got two options. Oh, incidentally, the latest patch uh, brought in the ability to customize your controls a little bit more. Oh, I was going to say, I might be in your tap. That damage bonus from getting hit keeps kicking in, which is nice. Oof. 
Right, this will have got before. Yeah. I've just been reminded. Let's use that because... Nope. Oof. Heal. No, that didn't heal. That didn't go um, quite the way I wanted it to. It's over. And I've got my mod power back. Uh, I wanted to try out some of these other mods. Because apparently, these skulls are quite cool. Ah, no, this is the bit with the chest. Yum. Another thing that I've been uh, seeing people call for on the forums is an ability to... Oh, it's not there. Uh, an ability to automatically pick up scrap and stuff when you walk over it rather than having to spam a... Not sure how I feel about that. Right, that's the puzzle solution for... For the what's it? The um, words. How do words work? Words? That's the tile puzzle solution. For the monolith. Which we don't need to do because we're wearing the armour. What's this place? Somewhere we've been before? Probably. Probably. Loom of the Black Sun. Yes, we've been here before. Can't remember what's at the end of this one. That's going to kill me. I can kind of see why people use the other maul. Because it's got a knock back on it. Let me switch over to it and I'll show you. Also, it's slightly higher level as well. But it doesn't offer that stagger. That was a great start. It's got a nice sweeping range, this mall. And it's surprisingly quick.
with its non-charged shots. World Walker. Right, I need to start putting points. Into our <laughs> defensive abilities. But I've also got Rapid Strike, the melee ability. I can hear an enemy. Where are you? Oh, hi, friends. Yeah, I, I mm. that was rough. See, if I swap over to the, the scythe, in terms of a terrible at this game's So the skulls, oh dear, I've been irradiated. I think that's the first time that's actually happened. Um, I feel like I'm being followed. Right, let's try the boys, as the, uh, the devs have called them. See, that does. Multiple fast hits. Which seems to get us back our health a lot faster than the big hammer smashes. The hammer smashes are great if you hit with, all, with the whole thing. What the... Oh, shoot! One of you! I could have multiple boys out! Ow.
Probably heal would be a good idea. You can keep hitting your mate in the back. I'm fine with that. See that? He's going to hit me. So the life leech is a really, really effective. Life leech plus the leech ring, obviously. Um, how do I de irradiate myself? It's that, isn't it? Uh, we've got. Yeah, I need to put the stop putting some points into some defensive abilities because I'm so glass cannony. Where's the exit? Here. Literally around the corner. What was the boss at the end of this? I can't remember. Oh, it's, um... It's what's-his-face. Right. We need to kill this guy a very specific way. We need to focus on killing his ads. Not him. We've got to kill his ads ASAP. Because if he does his spin the platform thing... Ow. I suppose we can shoot him while he's doing this, can't we? I was so busy focusing on my um, my lack of ammo that I failed to utilize all of the other mechanics in the game. But yeah, we still haven't seen the other world boss. This is what, the fourth, I think, reroll that I've done of this. That was a great start.
I think we might have screwed this. Pick up some of this. Yeah, we don't want any ads to get hit by his spinny. This, apparently. Right, this will either work or it won't. Got it. Void sliver. I can't believe it. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Warden is alive. Howling key. Void sliver. Used to forge a powerful weapon. Oh, righty then. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Yeah, I'd still like to see the other world boss. Uh, don't think we need to kill the Undying King this time. I do think we need to heal. <laughs> Just realised how low our health is. Boom. Yeah, what I really want to do... Bash. ...is get back to Yesha. I want to have a go, another go, at the doggy boss. The Ravager, or whatever his name was. Yeah, we beat him normally, but I want to know how the bell things work. La 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 la. We hold you. This key will not. T it knows your salvation. <laughs> I should warn you. Regardless, there is a world. This yes. Yes. Me. Yes. And so, enter this world. Right. Because we've got the weapon from him. I haven't used it, but we've got it. 
lot of weapons in this game that I haven't used. Speaking of... Let's head back to town and see what this new item gets us. Hello. Magic Tower? Yes. Either you and Ace Yeah. Particle accelerator. 1.4 rounds per second, 5 magazine, 30 meter range, max ammo 35. Fires a concentrated gravity core which opens upon impact, deals 50 damage and opens a black hole. Uh, no, which upon impact deals 50 damage and opens a black hole, pulling enemies towards it for 5 seconds. That sounds interesting. We are done here. Oh, how many? Uh, particle accelerator. I'm not in the mood for. So it's a. Ooh, that reload animation though. Uh, wait, what? For some reason... That was weird. There we go. I quite like the, uh, the look of that. That's a cool weapon. What was the other thing that we got from him? Was it a mod? I can't remember. We got another thing from him from killing him no the, the, the normal way. In fact, it may have been Worldbreaker. Yeah, it may well have been. Keep moving. Anything you need? Anything I need. Yeah, see, that's going to take a load of Luminites to level up. Um, as are all of these items, it is very much the case that Luminite is, is what is holding us back. Hundred and seventeen versus hundred and twenty. So long. Yeah, th this gun's going to do uh, tosh damage, obviously, compared to. Oh yeah, um. But I want to try and combat. Just to see what kind of effect this mod that's built in has. So, let's head back to Corsus and uh, find out. Corsus will be rough. With an unleveled weapon. No matter boss weapon or nay. Although, uh, difficult to tell range wise. Is there a reticule? Oh, there is a reticule when it's in.
but it's within a decent range. Uh, let's stick... Didn't I just upgrade? Oh, no, I only upgraded that to plus seven. Yeah, to be fair, this, this rifle, if it were fully leveled up, I want to find a group of enemies. Oh, there's a group of enemies. Oh, the, the black hole affects us as well. How? What? What? How did I survive that? <laughs> That's really cool, though. I've no idea how I survived that hit, mind you. It's possible that it counts as a melee attack? Ooh. Lock of Anguish. Oh, yeah. Need to keep my eyes, eyes open for uh, Simulacra. Simulacra? Simulacra? Ba, 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 da, da. Simulacra. Ba, ba, da, ba. <laughs> to be fair... Weapon Fairly Okay Yeah, they're just going to keep on getting back up, though. Ow. Oh, shoot. Right, let's, uh... Let's heal. <laughs> okay, so that's a really cool weapon. Uh, but obviously, it's not doing a lot of damage. Because it's barely leveled up. Right, what are the mods? No, what are the mods do we have? Corrosive Aura, we've tried... No, we've not tried Corrosive Aura. Uh, Iron Sentinel got buffed. That we tried. Conjures an electrical storm centred around the caster. Ten meter aura. Because we're doing the old uh, melee, let's give this a go. Also, do we have any trait points? Yes, we do. Three. Now 
Yeah, see, that does so much more damage. I don't know whether you have to shoot... No, we we know we don't have to shoot those things. We've tried that before, haven't we? Well, that corrosive ore lasts a long time. The question, the big question, though, is how long does it take to charge up? Not particularly. Oh! Not faffing around with you, dog. And... Most of all, it certainly looks cool. Whoa, it's over. And it lasts a good chunk of time. How long does it say? 30 seconds, yeah. So that's nice. Let's try Stormcaller. The problem with games like this is a similar problem to something that I have in Bloodborne, where I like... Ah, that's the way back. Um, I like the... Oh, the Greatsword. I can't remember what it's called. Is it Lud Ludwig's Holy Blade, or is that the one that turns into a hammer? Yeah, the, the the great sword that turns into a sword. And I like it so much. Wow, that didn't hit either of you. That is. Why are you not dead? Um, yeah, you can get stuck in using the same item. Come on, then. Damn it, I was trying to dodge out of the way of that and failed miserably. Oh, wow. Um, 
Oh, that's just weird. Oh, I don't like that at all. It takes away your ability to attack and instead you... Hmm, no. Not a fan of that. Uh, that's defensive. That we've tried. Mantle of Thorns we haven't tried. And again, that might be interesting for a kind of a tanky melee build. The... Where is it? That, Arcane Strike, is something I should very much put points into. On the backswing. And herein lies my problem with melee. I just keep on coming back to the uh, to the scythe rather than Rather than feeling like I can in any way get good. But that being said, you know, a, a fast... Scythe build to generate mod power for... Does this last, what was it, 60 seconds? This could be very doable. Aha! What was the other benefit of it? Reduces melee damage taken by 50%, reflects 200% of melee damage taken, and reduces stag on hits. Does it have a visual? Not really. Can I tank this thing? Yeah, I can. Doesn't take long to charge back up.
Yeah, I'm quite liking this playstyle. Though you do need... That. You, you, you need to do your shooting to get your mod power up. Hold on, we've been here. Oh, hi, friend. You took damage from that. Oh, it's over. Bottom right that we need to be going. I've been followed. Oh, I am. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. That sounds like, yeah. Right. Here's going to be a test. Oh dear. Nice. Whoa. It's over. I like that a great deal. But yeah, we definitely need some melee mod uh, percentage to, to start building the charge up faster. Because as it stands, you've got to shoot to get a half decent uptime on it. Sniping stuff from range is clearly more efficient in terms of time. But this should be the unclean one in his shack. I don't know what this is going to be like in terms of melee ability, especially once he goes spin to win. First things first. Find the beast of the swamp. Hello. Yes. I'd like to upgrade my stuff, please. Well, thank you. Be safe out there. 
fully upgraded chest piece. Let's go fight off against this gentleman. Let's see just how badly we cock it up. Because it's happened every time. It feels really, really weird not having the numbers to accidentally press on the side of these maps. They're not there. Right, so we're going to pop off a couple of shots just to get our mod power up. Hello? Clong. Clong. Hi. Right. So he's got a belly smash. Realistically, we want to get behind him and... Uh... Hit him in his butt. Because he's armoured at the front here, clearly. Um, mate, you're just going to kill your friends. What am I stuck on? Oh, shoot! That's not good. Ah! Let's heal. Running away. Don't fall on me. Yeah. So that wasn't really a melee only kill. But it's, it's clearly very doable. Another trait. Three trait points, in fact. I, I actually wonder... If something's a little bit bugged out on my file. Because I'm not wearing any XP stuff. Let's see, 2 204. 
XP currently. Two seven. Two sixty. Yeah, I, I I don't know how much XP is that. Two eight three. So two zero four to two two seven is. What, 23? The 260 is 33. The 283 is 23. Yeah, en enemies do seem to be worth different amounts of XPs. But it all seems to be quite high. Keep in mind that this is on normal. There, friend. Um. Yes, I am. Fortunately, I can do that. You know, you get a big group of enemies together like that, and suddenly it's uh, healing city. the iron thank you oh yeah you come back don't you <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. up you take a set amount of damage from falls which is really, really weird. No matter how hot you fall from, you only seem to... What's that? Oh, is that my thorns wearing off? Yeah, no matter how hot you fall from, you only t seem to take a set amount of damage. Um, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. Part of me says, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I, I, I definitely... Ow. Hey, you didn't die. Yeah, I, I definitely need to stop putting points into melee mod power. I think it's actually a priority. Three more in rapid strike. Okay, that's going to do it for this episode of B-Roll Revolts. Next time. I'll take you through. Probably somewhere that we've been before. Let's see. The Drowned Trench. Yeah, we've been here before. I can't remember who's the boss of it. 
Guess we'll find out. Thanks for watching, folks. Cheerio. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.